Okie dokie. It is that time. So I'm back. It is four o'clock. That means it is time for Wonder Sparks DIY Puppet Craft. Woo! All right. Oh, hi, Christy. Welcome. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat here. Welcome. It's four o'clock, so it is time for Wonder Sparks DIY Puppet Craft. Welcome. We do these every day at four o'clock, Monday through Friday, and also on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. So be sure and check that out. Now today we did something a little bit special. We've done this once before, but we partnered with the Astoria Bookshop. So definitely a big shout out to them. They have a an Instagram live story time every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So that's something really fun for you and your family. And this morning they read a couple of stories I tuned in and one of them was called Antoinette, if anybody knows this story or if they tuned in. And it's a really cute story about um, uh, some pups running around Paris. One of them is Antoinette and she turns out to be a really good detective and she becomes a very famous police dog. So in honor of Antoinette, today we are making our paper plate poodle puppets. All right. So I thought this would be very cute and um, very fun. And it's quite simple. So I think you guys will, will have a good time. So here you go. This is what we're gonna be making today, our Antoinette paper plate poodle puppets. Let's go over what we will need. Here's my list. Actually, I need to look at it. So first of all, a paper plate. I've got the larger ones. I think it works really well for this. And if you have them, we're going to need two brads. And if you don't have them, you can use a pipe cleaner or something like that. And uh, I'll show you how to use that as an alternative. We will need scissors. We will need a hole punch. We will need glue. You can either use a glue stick or Elmer's white glue. I think probably today I'm gonna stick with the Elmer's for this. And a little bit of tape. And as always, you guys know I love to use my markers or if you have crayons or colored pencils, whatever you like to color with. Just a couple of those. And if you have them, I have some pom-poms here, whoop, some black ones. That'll be for my, my poodle's nose. And if you don't have pom-poms, that's all right. We can always use our markers, as always, or whatever you have around. And um, if you want to use some googly eyes for this, you can. But in my sample, I just drew, I just drew the eyes and the mouth. I think that'll do it. I can get rid of my, this was my, my uh, display here. <laughs> my puppet display, my very fancy uh, mason jar here. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we will just take our paper plate and see how this has a little ridge right around it that makes a nice circle. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way around that circle. Nice and easy. It doesn't matter where you start. I'll hold it up so you can see what I'm doing. Apologize if it's a little bit loud. But we're almost done. Okay, so all the way around that little ridge. Now I have my circle. This is going to be the face of my puppet. And now I have this outside part to work with. And that's going to be some of the features of my puppet. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the part where I made the cut and I'm just going to fold it 
pretty much right in half. And I'm going to make another cut right there. So now I've basically got two halves. And I'm going to take one of those halves and cut it, fold it, and cut it in half yet again. So if you cut something in half, and then you take half of that, and you cut it in half again, that means you have a fourth of your original item. A little bit of math for you. Some of the, the little bit of math that I've retained over the years. <laughs> so, so I'm going to take my two fourths right here, and these are going to be the ears of my poodle. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to put one over top of the other like this, so that I can, I can do this next step all in one fell swoop. So all I'm going to do is just kind of round out these edges, right? I don't need to make this any smaller. I'm just going to round this side and this side with my scissors. So just nice and easy, just cutting off those corners so that it's more or less round. Same thing on the other side. And if you need a helper or an adult that's around to help you with the cutting, please ask. All right. So now we basically have two of the same shape here for the ears. So I'm going to come back to my circle and I'm going to kind of look at where I would want my ears to be. I'm going to say right about there. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to make sure I'm getting ready to use my hole punch here. And I'm going to make sure that when I make my hole, that I go through both pieces, that I'm going to go through the, the, uh, the edge of the plate and the round part of the plate that we cut out so that it will hold them together. So here we go. I'm going to take my hole punch. Again, if you need a helper for this, please ask. And we're just going to go right there, something like that. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing on, on the other side. So it looks more or less even. Here we go. And same thing. You want to make sure you get through the round part of the plate and the outside part all the way through. Okay. So there we go. So if I hold them both up, here we go. We have our round poodle face and we have our two poodle ears here on the side. Now, if you have brads, this will make this step nice and easy. But first, I'm going to show you um, how you can use a pipe cleaner or if you have some floral wire that works really well. I have some of that around too. Who knows? So, but a pipe cleaner is, is something that you might have around if you don't have brads and uh, this can work quite well also. So I'm just going to take we don't need the whole thing, just a little piece. And I'm using white because my paper plate is white. So I'm going to put it through one of the holes in the ears and I'm just gonna kind of make a circle. It's, it's a little hard, I know. I have my window open so the sunshine shines right in around this time. So sometimes when I'm working with white paper, it's a little hard to see. So I'll try to hold it close. So I'm just taking my pipe cleaner and wrapping it in kind of a circle shape like that so that it doesn't pull through. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of a little circle shape. And you don't want it to be too tight. And what I mean by that is you want the, the ears to be able to kind of still wobble a little bit. Okay. And I've got a little bit of extra so I can either continue wrapping it around a little bit if I want, or I can just cut off that extra. Yeah, there we go. So if you don't have brads, there you go. We can still attach our ears in a really cute and fun way. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, if, if you do have brads, they are pretty self-explanatory. You would just put the brad right through the hole and open up either side like this. And again, if you are using brads, um, don't tighten it too much. 
I would encourage you to leave it a little bit loose again so that the ear has some really nice movement. So that's how you would do that. I'm going to use my, I'm going to go ahead and use my pipe cleaner on the other side since that's what I used on the first side. So once again, I'll just put it through and kind of make a little circle around that hole that I punched like that. And the same thing on the other side, same thing on the front, just kind of a little loop so that it will not pull through that hole that you punched. And I will cut off the extra. All right, coming along. Okay. Now, so the thing about poodles is sometimes they have really fun haircuts, right? They have a little poofy ball on their tail. Sometimes they have a little poofy ball on the top of their head. So that's what we're going to make next. If you can see here in my sample puppet, she's She's got a really nice little hairdo up here. So that's what we're gonna work on next. So I have my other half from the outside of my paper plate and I only need about half of this. So just like we did with the ears, I'm going to fold it in half and then just cut. And again, what we did with the ears, we only need one half this time. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing and round out both sides. There's one, and there's the other. There we go. And now it is ready for my fantastic poodle hairdo. So for this next part, you can either use your glue stick or um, the white glue. And I think for this one, I'm going to use just a little bit of the white glue just a wee little bit. So I'm going to take the back side and just put a little bit right there along the edge. Doesn't take much and you can just kind of spread it along. Again, you don't need too, too much. And now I will put it right on the top of my poodle's head. There we go. Get that great poodle hairdo. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure that my ears are nice and floppy. Good. Now comes the fun part. We get to decorate. So again, if you have some googly eyes, you want to put some googly eyes on, go right ahead. But I think today I'm going to draw my poodle face. So what I did here on my sample is very, very simple. I basically, for the eyes, I just made two U shapes. So basically like two little dips down. So I'm gonna do that again. Let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna move the ear a little bit out of the way. So just kind of a big U shape like that. And I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna put it on the table so I can try to make them more or less even. There we go. We've got two little U shapes. And what I also did on my sample is, since this is in honor of our poodle Antoinette, I gave her a couple little eyelashes here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna draw a few lines on the outside of the eye. There we go. Starting at that outside edge. Just one, two, three, and one, two, three on the other side. Cool. All right, and I happen to have a pom-pom here, so I'm going to glue that on. If not, you can use your trusty marker and just draw a little, a little nose for your pup. That would be excellent also. So once again, I'm gonna take my white glue, and this time, you know what? This time I'm gonna use the smaller pom-pom just to make it a little different putting some glue onto the plate right in between those eyes and gluing on my pom-pom nose. There you go. So if you're doing this, you might need to give it a minute or two to let that glue dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna lay my puppet flat and I'm going to draw the mouth. 
So here again, I'm gonna use that U shape for my little poodle mouth, except I'm gonna connect the two U's. So I'm gonna make one U shape, come to a point, and then make another U shape right underneath the nose. Where did my marker go? Marker! Here it is. Right where it should be. All right, here we go. Here's one U shape up to a point and then another. It looks like a nice little poodle smile. Lastly, what I did is I took my red marker and I made a little tongue right in the middle here of my little poodle mouth. And I colored it in. Lovely. So this is my paper plate poodle. Now, we have our poodle, but we have yet to make it into a puppet. So let's do that. It's quite simple. This is going to be another version of a rod puppet. We've talked about those in the past. So we're just going to take our popsicle stick and we're going to tape it onto the back. Nice and easy. I have a thicker one, so that's what I'm going to use right now. I'm using just some regular old clear tape and I'm gonna tape it to the back. Um, if you wanna use your white glue again for this, it might make it a little more secure, but again, you have to be a little patient and wait for it to dry, because then otherwise it might slide around or slide off. So here we go. I have my rod, and I'm just going to tape it onto the back, just like that. I'm gonna smush my nose on here one more time. There we go. Okay, so now, the cute thing about this, especially if you made sure and kept these little fasteners, either the pipe cleaners or the brads, if you kept them loose, you'll get some really nice wobbly movement for your ears. Maybe I'll try to loosen this one up a little bit so we get a little bit more movement. There we go. That's nice. Yeah. So when you have a puppy that's really excited and they come, they come strolling up to you, Maybe their tail wags, maybe their little ears flop around. So that's what we're doing with our puppets today. Nice little cute poodle floppy ears. Okay. And that's our DIY puppet craft, our paper plate poodles. Thank you so much. Um, I really liked this one. Um, I'm happy to, again, team up with um, the Astoria Bookshop. Again, you can check out their store every Thursday at... 11. And don't forget, we are wondersparkpuppets.com. We are here every day with DIY puppet crafts during the week, Monday through Friday. We're here at four o'clock. And then on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. We also, if you check out our website, we've got some cool things going on there. We've got merch, we've got updates, and um, we also have puppet telegrams that you can order. So definitely check that out. And another thing that we offer is every Friday we're doing free live stream puppet shows at 11 a.m. So tomorrow's Friday, definitely check it out. That's happening every Friday. And uh, we leave those up for the entire week until we live stream our next puppet show the following week. Again, if you check out our store, you can buy raffle tickets to get your own live streamed puppet show. So you can either um, look into getting a puppet telegram or enter a raffle ticket to win your very own live streamed puppet show. All kinds of cool stuff. And we also have a membership program as well with all kinds of cool perks. So definitely check that out. Um, and yeah, I hope you join us again tomorrow. Definitely don't forget 11 a.m. for the live stream puppet show. And then again at four o'clock for our next D. I Y Puppet Craft. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy your evening. Goodbye.